Hi everybody, just thought I'd share with you uh, a quick video today. Um, I've just come out of my lunch hour and um, I was with a group of amateurs the other evening and we were talking about antennas and masts and mounts and, uh, and such and a couple of the guys asked me the question, how do you put up a mast when you're by yourself? And it got me thinking, well, I know how to put it up, but not many people do know how to put it up. I'm having to move you out of the way, by the way, because it's a bit windy today. Um, so I thought, well, let me show you. And, and so what I've done, I've just come out to the park. Um, I've got the mast and my, my dying kit. I haven't actually got an antenna or radio with me, but uh, I thought I'd just uh, quickly show you exactly how I put up a fiberglass pole um, in the middle of nowhere for a vertical antenna. So stick with me. So let me show you exactly what I've got here. I've got a, uh, a mast. This one is a 10 meter mast. And as you can see, that's where you can get that from. That's www.dx-wire.de. If you're in the UK, go to Soda Beams. You can get them from there. And I think that's where I bought that one from. I've got some pegs here. I only need three, but I've got four. And then I've got my dying lines here as well. And I'm hoping you can hear me because it is a bit windy today. And I've made this up. I've got this clip here, this clip here from uh, Soda Beams, that bit there. But I have used before now a key ring. Let me show you what I mean. If you look at your keys, you can use something like that. And that works really well. And I have used this before. And uh, again, something about that sort of size there, look. And you're just looking for something to just slip over the mass. And you can see there, that key ring actually is about the same size as that. And that would be perfect. So I have used that in the past, but I'm using this one today. Um, and if you wanted to make one of those, well, you can buy those chopping boards quite cheaply, those plastic chopping boards from, um, from any cookery shop. Uh, and you can cut one of those up with a Stanley knife. Uh, again, I've used that. And finally, the other thing that you can use is a funnel, a little plastic funnel. Um, and we used those when we were on the Isle of Scilly many years ago. So you would have seen this mast gone up before and you would have seen the antenna I use with it um, on the Sunday playing in the wireless video that I did some years ago. And I'll put a link to that up in the top corner. And uh, that would have been the, the, the antenna I used. So I haven't got that with me. So you, you would assume that I've put the antenna in the mast and it's ready for putting up. So I'm going to use the wind and we're going to put the mast up and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So you can see now, it's a 10 meter mast. I've twisted it out in place and it's locked off. And we are right at the, uh, the other end there. So there we go. That's the mast now laid out on the floor. And now we're going to come to the guy lines. So looking at the guy lines a bit more closely, you can see that what I've done is put loops and it's exactly the same loop at each end. And the guy lines are the same length. They're all three of them the same length. What that length is, I couldn't tell you. I worked out the length that I needed by lying the mast on the floor and measuring out, well, pulling out some, some of this until it looked about right on the floor. Okay, so here we are. We've got this now locked in place. This one is our, this one is our third line, which I'm going to come to in a bit. And then what we do is we just undo the the guy lines like so and we're going to pull them out so that we form an imaginary line at the base of the mast and the end of this line and we just undo it and as you see cable husbandry is everything this if you tie it up the same way every time it will never knot up and i've got to say a big thank you to wiltshire man for showing me how he ties up his cables and i'm just going to pull it out now in my hand, like so. And again, I can see now the other pin over there and I just want to come back around here a bit more. There we go. That's going to be the imaginary line. I can see the peg at the far end and the base of the antenna. And that means, uh, pick it up on the camera, that means it's going to go here. So again, good idea to carry your pins with you, your pegs, sorry, 
with you. And I want it to go there. Perfect. So that's those two guide out. Now you're thinking, how is it going to go up? And this is where the trick comes in. What we're gonna do, we're gonna lift the antenna this way and also walk the mast this way as well. So we're gonna walk it over there as we're lifting it up. So the base of the antenna will not be here, it'll be over here. And we're gonna walk it over until the other two lines are taut. And this is gonna be fun because I'm doing this one-handed as well. So the first thing we wanna do is untie this guy line. Because once the other two go taut, I'm going to let go of the mast and I'm gonna carry on walking holding that guy line taut in my hand until I get to the end. And then the mast will be Okay, up. here we go then. So I don't know if you can hear me. I've got my pin ready to go. And uh, we're gonna hold that up there and we're gonna lift. And again, I'm just holding it up like so until I'm just walking it over here until they go taut and it's going to be about there I think might even be about there no that's taut that's taut so let's carry on walking out here Carry on walking over now. And this needs to be pegged up from here. So I'm just going to peg that out there. There we go. Now, see, it's a little bit cocky, a little bit wavy. Well, it is a windy day. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to look straight at the mast. Just do any finite adjustments and that's going to be strong enough to hold a vertical antenna and you can see here if we look at the we look at the mast itself it's flexible it's windy it's windy it's not a big stationary thing is it good and putting it down is exactly the opposite of putting it up. What we're going to do is we're going to lift that peg up there and I'm going to walk with this guy line back to the mast keeping it fairly taut until I get to the mast where I can control safely its descent. So let's do that now. Okay so I've lifted the peg out of the floor I've now got the guy line and I'm just going to walk back to the mast and put it down nice and steady and that's it it's on the floor peg straight in the back pocket and we just tie
keep everything together right where you're going to need to be I'm just going to take this camera over here and I'm going to put the antenna mast down Cap on, job done. So we've got our guys tied up, we've got our pegs, and it's always important to make sure you collect everything before you go. Job done. Well, there you go then. I hope that's uh, shown you how to put mast up by yourself. Admittedly, it was a bit rushed and a bit uh, chaotic today, but uh, nonetheless, that's exactly what I do when I'm out and about. Uh, it's a little bit rushed, it's a little bit chaotic. Uh, it's also windier today than I actually anticipated, so I hope it shows that you can use the wind. See, the breeze is coming in already. I hope it shows you you can use the wind uh, to your advantage, and also that it's not as scary as you would want to think once the wind is, uh, is actually in effect. Let me know how you put your mast up. Uh, feel free to comment below. Uh, I'm interested to see if there's anything that I could do differently. Let me know how you do it, and... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.